you are bulldozer like Tony man, he's number one, driving for Troy on a Sunday. Oh yes, my sure. God, lads. Don't believe this if you're listening. <laughs> hold on now, hold on now, hold on now. This is the this is for the job. <laughs> What's new in the world of Mark Price since we were last out? You have a ball of money spent anyway. A ball of money spent. <laughs> well, as I keep telling Garrett, there's no point in being mad if you don't show it. <laughs> what have you bought this year? The, for the big one anyway, the 457. 457, which she was actually bought last year. Oh, that's true. What happened there? She wasn't in on time. She was wasn't it? in time. She was the first one bought and she was due in, in April. And I suppose with COVID and everything, um, they didn't get them out in time. So they sent us over the pre-production model, the the one that the test one. Yeah. And they gave it to us for until my one came. And by the time she came, well she came in July, but they wanted in her for a couple of shows. And stuff. Yeah, that's what like we had. Yeah, we had a plug exactly. They had her punch us down first. And so then, then so by the time she came, you were finished the first cuts. And you said she's no good to me now. Well, we were nearly we were halfway through the second cuts by the time she came. Yeah. So in fairness, they, they kept it for a couple of shows and they gave us a 435 for a couple of weeks to give us a handout and we said we'd park up there this year. Yeah, so she's, she was only registered this year? She was only registered in May, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's, what's going to happen now the next time around when that 435 has to be traded? Would you be going for a second 457 or no, no. going 435 again? I go, when she's been changed, I'd be going 435 again. Yeah. No, this is the first time I've had two fresh Loaders. So no, there's no real game plan for that yet. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, you used to run a 435 and a 416, was it? Uh, that would have been a bit older, maybe. Yeah. The four, yeah, the 416 was hired from another another guy. But again, just felt that the main loader needed a bit more weight for packing. I suppose, yeah, JCB are really so, isn't that last bit of a gap in the market there? Like? They are, they are. Like, they were the last ones to come with a big loader. Yeah. Um, and a very big one. They've done it and look, they did the right thing. They took a year longer to get it out than they planned, but they didn't just go and take the 457 um, industrial and just put egg tires on it. Yeah, they yeah. went and redesigned it, which was the right thing to do. This year, then you bought three new trailers, three new Brahman trailers, 322 foots, no steering axles. It's simple. So you're staying, you're, you're staying two axle, no steer axle, no steering axle, no, but you're going up to 22 now, got 22s, so all 2022. Yeah, I had a few 18s that are gone, and I had one old 20 foot Brahan that had a swing back door, so she's gone to Westwood Rock. So you're all, you're all new style now, like? All new style, yeah. So look, they want flotation tyres, a lot of farmers want flotation tyres. Not that you need them this year, but... Um, although the first week out, you would have destroyed the fields with our new tyres. Bacon slices, if you got them. Yeah, I think they were still soft, like? Yeah, they were, yeah. You know, so that's what we've done. Um, that's what well, we've tell done. me this now, what have you against the steer axles and the tri axles? Steer axles, I suppose, it's just more wear and tear, more expense, more to go around. Um, and the tri axles, I just think they're too big. Yeah. We just look, we walk away fine, we have seven trailers there now. And they draw a lot of scrap, they draw a lot of grass. Yeah, so you you have seven trailers now yourself. Yeah. And then you hire in an extra one. And I hire in an extra one too. Like that down. green one today is hired in on the fence. She's, hi she's hired in, yeah. Um, and the tractor, the, the New Holland, and the um, my trailer's hired in, the tractor's hired in. So that's 7040 New Holland, that's Dave's, the driver's that's, that's, that's his That's his tractor. Yeah. So she's 
entire day doing my trailer. So you reckon stick with the 22 foot straight trailer and more of them rather than trying to go less trailers and bigger? Basically. Yeah, well I suppose what I find there at times is you can 22 foot, you get bad conditions, you get hilly ground, you're not going to pull them, you know. I know, look, I'm going to fill this way, by the way, I know that, but. And it's much harder, if, you know, if you get a, if you get, you get a young driver or an experienced driver. By the way, Ken. Um, much harder to put them on the big, the big of the trailer, you know? Yeah, yeah. To be fair, they need. Even though I see today now, most, like, you don't have any 16 year old looking drivers, it's all. No, I don't. Good, you know, good lads now, but looks but Yeah, well, my young, look, at two younger lads there, they're early 20s. The two youngest lads there, but they both well, draw inside. Yeah, that's not that young on the grand scheme of things these days, the way things are like. Yeah, but the gear's too big for 16 yeah, year olds, to yeah. be fair. And how you find it to get staff now this year, even the last couple of years? Not too bad, not too bad. Look, you struggle a bit of time, but I'm lucky. I have a good regular crew, and look, a good crew, to be fair to them. Um, like you're doing slurry and stuff as well that keeps lads going for the winter. Yeah. So you have full timers, like? I have full timers, I'm feeling my fairly full time. And then there's more than there, they're, you know, they're doing a bit of farming, they're doing a few other bits of pieces and they they come on then for the side, they generally come on when we're busy at the May setting or whatever. But there's, I suppose it's just three, they're full time, not just three, it's Yeah. And a few more, but they're near, near enough to full time. We do a lot of fertilizer spreading as well. And uh, that keeps on it going pretty well during the spring. And then what about yourself? Are you still a full-time accountant prior the silage season? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a different company now. I'm working for a drainage company. Oh, all right. So it's fine. It's, um, it actually gives a bit more time off as well, which is no harm. Yeah. yeah. Well, Shrug, you were saying earlier on, the thing is so compressed now, it's only about three weeks. It's only three weeks. This is only our 13th day out this year, and we only have about three days left. And, and that's, that's kind of your reason for the 990 and the likes of the 457. Yeah. Because there's so much to be done so there's little so time. There's so much time. Like, you go back 30 years ago, you could probably cut nearly as much first cut, but you had eight weeks to cut it. Yeah. yeah. Like, the weather's come good this year, so we would fine, but if the weather came bad, you still only that window to cut it. They all want to cut the same 10 days now. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I suppose every fella's working now off the same calendar, like, the likes of Chagas, they're telling them, you must cut your first cut as early as possible now, you know, and then every fella, as soon as it's dry enough then, What's the they want to knock like. I like, I, look, I don't understand myself. We're cutting grass the last 10 days that was never, that wasn't grazed. It hasn't seen an animal since last October. And we're cutting stuff that was grazed up to the, the 15th of April. Yeah. And in the same week, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't make sense how the board lots of grass can be ready at the same time. Yeah, like the stuff that was great should be three weeks behind. It the should be three weeks behind. Time. And it's a combination of some of the puppy the stuff that wasn't great go a bit longer than maybe they should and some of the other stuff have been cut too soon. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like this isn't the same 990 now we would have seen the last time. No. This has been changed since. This is your second 990. second 990. Changed last year. So she's in her second season now, Yeah. Time. And you may change her now for next year. Depends on what you'll, if you'll change her for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are kind of in the system of every two years. I'm in that system, I've been in that system for the last while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and look, it works. You have your warranty, you know what you have. And you seem to have to line up a customer to buy her second hand. Yeah, your last two machines have both gone to Dunphy's in, in Tipperary. In Tipperary, that's right, yeah. Because yeah. like, there'll be fellas watching, seeing a 990 in Ireland, thinking, sure, that's madness. But for and you, it's not. And it's been, like, down this part of the world, there's heavier grass than fellas will arise too, maybe, like. Yeah, no, look, look there are, I mean, so earlier on there, we were picking up 30 foot sparks and she was, they were killing her. Yeah. Um, you know, like, that's why I won't go for four or for eight either, because I think it's just too much to get. You kill too much, like you make better progress. Yeah, you're still using a 30 foot cool I've rake. Cool rake, I've two of them. Two of them. Well, you tried out uh, a writer merger we did. when she was down this part of the world. Yeah, that was three years ago. And what do you think of that well, concept? I thought it should be a good concept, but didn't seem to, they don't seem to work. Why is that? The heavy grass. They yeah. don't work the heavy grass because they can't. 
They can split the sword very successfully, from what I can see with them. Right, right. Um, and was that the only merger you ever tried? We saw, we didn't try it, but we saw the Coon merger. Yeah, because I was going to ask about the Coon, because obviously you have the Coon rig, you have nearly a full fleet of Masseys, and CFM obviously are Massey and Coon around this area. Yeah. So they, were they trying to push you into another race stage? Or? They were, but another fella had one, and he didn't seem to have, look, didn't seem to be very successful at Coffin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. No, because we, we had one up at HQ there during the week for the silage above. It was a SIP or an SIP yeah, I see that. merger. And um, we thought it was a brilliant job. Like, all right, the grass wasn't, there was a couple of heavy fields in it, like, a lot of it wasn't that heavy. But it done a good job. It brought the grass in very clean and everything like that. And we were saying, you know, these could be the future, like, they are expensive, but for the likes of yourself, you could use it for bringing in 30 foots for the first cut, and then you could go 60 foot for a second cut. That was why I thought it could be a good concept, but they can't, they can't do the job fast enough still. Yeah, like one of them wouldn't keep ahead of you. One of them wouldn't keep ahead of you, and that's yeah. what the other contract I had, one of the reasons he went away from the again is he couldn't make the progress with it. It's, again, fine big fields, you know, 30, 40 acre fields, but we have a lot of it in yourself. There are not too many around here. There are not too many around here. We took 30 foot rakes. You buy the two of them for less than the price for a four rotor or yeah. a merger. Yeah. And the coon rake is a good job. Coon rake, very happy with it. Yeah. They seem to be a good reliable rake. And they, they make a nice swart. Nothing wrong with any other rakes either. But we're just happy with them and we get. Well, from what I see, no matter where you go anywhere, in, whether Ireland, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Generally, it's down to Crone Flats yes, or Coon cool. in the rakes, and they all seem to be fairly up there now. Like, do you know, one contractor will tell you, oh, Class is the only way to go, but sure, you go into the man next door then, you and he'll say, cool. say, Oh, sure, I try the Class, and the Coon is better. Yeah. And the third man then will tell you, Oh, no, I tried the other two, and Crone is the best one. They must be all fairly fairly similar now, like. They are. I mean, look, we had Class before, and the main reason we moved to Coon at the time was. The class when we went to a 450 or the 420 big M and went to the 33 feet, the class rate wasn't wide enough. Oh we'll yeah, yeah. Your crew will do 32 we'll kind of. It, it'll you? take in the big M swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he follows the big M because what we found was when you were, if you couldn't follow the big M, you were splitting swarps and then every swarf you were taking two centre swarps together. And yeah, that was probably like a class 2900. Yeah, kind of class 2900. Yeah, 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 and they weren't. The 3100s didn't seem to be a great rake because they were, they just didn't seem to be as strong. Uh, have you a tether? No. No tether? No tether. No tether down here? No, there is tethering. I don't have a tether. If they want a tethering, they, they hire a lad to tether themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some have their own tethers and some of them hire friends in. What do, what do you think of the whole tether crack now? Do you hate the sight of a tether? I hate the sight. <laughs> <laughs> Only making lumps? Only making lumps. Look, they're fine in like, like early on in the season when you light stuff that's lush yeah, yeah. and good weather fair enough but in the very heavy cups not designed for it I did. you're going into the 8 s's and the tractor side of things we are what you think of them they're a fine tractor fine comfortable tractor we've had look we've had a few teething issues with them yeah but nothing major you have uh, two of them there now i have two of them there now we've got two of them there in the spring two two to fives two 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 fives yeah um one is auto steer the other isn't will she be setting the maze then yeah oh. she's well she's one of them defenses on maze as well how did the fence leak into the line-up at all? She's there a long, long time. Is that your? Is that what you drive yourself for what? Or? Uh, no, no, I don't drive any tractor much. They don't let me drive them anymore. <laughs> they don't think I'm up to it. Um, if I look, probably if I was driving a tractor, it'd be near the fence I drive, but that's that's near as a tractor. So you kind of ran one fence in the feet for a long time. Well, only one fence in the feet with, I'd say, well over twenty years. All oh, right. Since your father's time? Yeah, well, yeah, he was in the same place. Uh, well, he took one out in contract hire and he, decided, he bought it then at the end of the year and we stayed with one fence all the way through. Alright. And never a temptation to go for more fence or all fence rent and all? There would be temptation, but I suppose a few things. One is the price. Yeah. They are that bit more expensive the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, secondly, you don't need all Vario tractors, you know. and One of the 8 S's is new this year as well, is it? Two eight tests on you. Or oh, the two were new this two year? Two new this year. No, two of them were new this year. The fence was new and the trailers. That's some spending, lad. I suppose 
I can't even doing this. You keep trying to keep them fresh. Yeah, yeah. Well, Elsh, look, I suppose you have the trade-in value, like. The trade-in value, especially at the moment. Like, you're probably getting near enough what you paid for the tractors two years ago, back yet, mate. Well, nearly are at the moment. No. Yeah. That's all relative, because you know, they're costing so much more. I suppose they're just kind of rolling the payments on uh, in another couple of years, like. And no, that's The monthly good. payments are yeah. staying the same, like. Well, if you keep the payments around the same, and look, the plan was to change the fence this year, but they came back with the deal, I said, look, it made sense. And I was conscious that the interest rates were going to start rising. Yeah. Which meant that following year it would be harder to do it, it got it easier. And what's on the mowing side of things then? A big M450? A big M450. Have you backup mowers then as well, or no, just a big M? Just a big M. Right. The odd time if you're in trouble, you'll hire a mower in, maybe to do a small bit of mowing, but oh, yeah, yeah. that would be a M better. I found it. I suppose every time you're uh, you're talking to Jim Power about a crown, he's trying to get you into an Ebony, I suppose, is he? Kind of. <laughs> I think he's kind of half given up. All right. There's no hope. I wouldn't say no hope. There's never no hope. You know. Had you did a demo around the place last year? I think did you have that out? No, I never. I didn't get one last year. Last one I got was like the seven. The very first the seven eighties we had out in demo. Ah, sure. That's no good. It's not like you. Ah, uh, yeah, but I suppose that was back when we were in nine seventy time. Yeah. Days. Yeah. I haven't no. I never saw the demo eleven eighty. Some traitor, didn't he? Ah. After man, he buy him a new lorry and everything. <laughs> and he do that to him then. That's what happens. At Ballard Farm. <laughs> That's is what that what your own, like down the West Cork, is it? Oh, yeah. Every man for himself. Every man for himself down around the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, Kyo. Well, I wouldn't usually do interviews in these loaders now because I hate sitting in the fridge. Because I'm fat and I'll probably break it. Yeah, you want. Look, this one's Dave under warranty, so I won't mind if I break it. Like. They've been tried and tested, <laughs> believe you me. <laughs> no, they're not the most comfortable. They can do it with a passenger seat. Like. They can do it with a passenger seat, all right, yeah. So this is, the same, this is the exact same cab as the 435, is it? Same thing, hang on, identical. No difference. It feels just so uncomfortable over here, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, I never, never really sat there. <laughs> Come here, you must be like a dog with two Mickeys now, playing with Dishwick every day, are you? Yeah, uh, I find two tails now, I'd wag them. <laughs> what do you think of it now? What's the verdict? Uh, a bulldozer. Yeah. Yeah, a bulldozer. Are you after getting caught anywhere where she wouldn't work, like two small um, yard or anything? Well, look, if we had any small pits, we could only work one in, like, do you know? Um, but you would work this one, like? Oh, you'd be working this one more than the other one, out in, yeah, yeah. like, for... Look, sheer because of the weight, like, do you know, this one is, she'd be six ton heavier than the 435, like. Yeah, I think she's about 20 ton without the Farker into yeah, that. Yeah, that Farker's over a ton, surely? It's over a ton, yeah, so we'd be up over 21 ton, like. Whereas your 435, I think, is around it's, 15 it's point 15, something or whatever, 15, like. I think 15 and a half, I think, roughly is, I think is what it is without the bike, like. Yeah. So most of the time you're running, this 457 and the 435 together on, on a pit? Yeah, yeah, two of them are always together, are they? And before that you were running two 435s? Two 435s, yeah. Um, we were waiting on this to come with a bit, but uh, she finally landed. And then, so that's that's 435 white S, or not a red S, we'll say. She, yeah. The was the other one you had a red S? Uh, she was a red S last year, yeah. They actually gave Mark that, just well, the, because they thought this might be after coming. Oh yeah. But she hadn't landed, so they gave us a four. They gave us the demo one of this last year, but she was on the seven pin tires. I just found her very unsteady on the pit, like. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that four three five. She got new rims and tires this she year. Got didn't she got new rims and tires this year. Now, yeah. And serious job. Yeah. Uh, I way about her job now for climbing. She's actually slightly wider. The rims are off center a bit more than the last ones. Yeah. So they'll be changed back now for the winter again, like. And what does she be doing for the winter now? Uh, she be doing and look, she be doing the old. Um, she has. We have the old for crossing the road. Oh, for, for the, the umbilical for system. For the umbilical system, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of what she does now for the for the winter. And what will this one do for the winter? Nothing. Uh, when the silage is over, this will go into a shed again. She won't even see it from bucket. No. No. Just she's just going to push up silage. Just, the maze. just just silage. She won't even do the maze because. Um, the pits aren't big enough for maize, like most most places we go into, like we have a couple of sheds that maize go into. Um and she'll she be just too big, like yeah. but I'd say the weight and the, like 
like most fellas that would be cutting for now might be taking maybe 10, 15, 20 acres of maize like and most of their maize pits wouldn't be nothing like silage pits like all right like, yeah they'd be small and tight and porky so so this yeah. machine is only going to push up grass for the silage year. only how does that feel like they say there's no money in it, huh? Ask the accountant. <laughs> <laughs> he has the figures done. Yeah, sure look. If there's anyone has the figures right, it's Mark, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, no, definitely, it is, uh, it is weight, like, it's just the sheer speed that is coming in it now. Like, the 435 wouldn't have the weight for packing it, like. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, no, the pace, the pace is very strong, which, you know, to be fair, like, yeah, like even yesterday there, there was a short draw. Like you, you weren't even going on the road, you are only crossing the road and there were still six trailers running. Yeah, yeah. Whereas another man would have three, maybe four, like. Yeah, do you know, but like. That 990 don't stop, like. Don't stop from the minute she starts in the morning, she she doesn't stop. How she long are you with Mark then? Uh, this is my fourth season with him now. So he would have been, four years ago he would have had a 435, uh, wouldn't he? Yeah, one, yeah. I was on her when I went with that and uh, a 416. Um, there was like a 416, there was some difference for, yeah, yeah. you know. But look, to be fair, most of the yards, you know, 95% of them we can walk two loaders. Yeah. Do you know, which is just unreal. Really, Even there was one, there was one there yesterday, now it was fairly tight, like in. Yeah. Sure, look, you were one loader most of the time. The one loader most of the time. But like coming he, to the end of it there, coming like. Coming to the end of it, like you have to go push it around the corner or whatever, like. You know, the second one was there to um, to tidy it up. Once the big one was gone up with a pike, the big one was there, the small one was there to tidy it up, you know? Yeah. Like that made a bit of a difference then, like. That's the one thing about the hydraulics in this, like, even in horror as well, the G8, the 435, the hydraulic power is unreal, like, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, that, that's the one thing, and she, it doesn't take from the power of the engine, like, you actually have to be nearly holding her on the brake to stop her from, the sp from spinning, like. Yeah. Do you know, so, um, and this is the first gear loader for this job now, like second. I just find this too fast. You're pressing the brake the whole time. Like I throw into second there, no way up. Do you know, that second, like so you can imagine now, like that's uphill there now, four and a half K, like. Sure, you'll be trying to shake out silage of that now and yeah, you're yeah. holding the brake. You know, it's just too fast. Do you know? Whereas with her you have to stay in second gear because with the she'll just spin out. So here I look. Right, that's yeah. a that's a twenty-two foot load there now. Straight up no water. Yeah, do you know? So she just she pushes away like. No to be fair look. That stuff is dry, you know, if you're, if you probably green, receded grass seeds now and she just might be doing a bit of spinning and bucking, but look, yeah. to be fair, you have to wait to get behind the load and just bulldoze it out of the way, like, yeah. you know, because I always and say... And it's a steep enough old pit, it won't look around the camera now, because the cameras never show things being hilly or steep. Yeah. And every land said, oh, it's not steep at all, but it actually is kind of steep it in fairness actually, now. Yeah, uh, do you know, it is deep enough and you can get the ass to rope it all your yeah, yeah. <laughs> fairly straight in. You have the big grill girl on the back of this then? Yeah, I kind of was pushing for that, thanks yeah. for the God they brought it. Um, my biggest problem was when you were um, coming off the pit, it's so one thing, look, there's places, look, I try and avoid it if I can at all. Um, I hate back out overloads, it's one thing I absolutely but hate. But sometimes you have to like... So look, you have to sometimes. Um, Look, you might be just in the yard that it just doesn't work, that you have room, you know, that you'll have to stay up in the pit or whatever. And I just found with the, with the 435, I was bending the grill. Yeah. And she was, she could open the grill then, or, you know, we were backing down and she hit, came off the pit to the concrete. She could open the grill with the bounce, but it was from the height of backyard overloads. Yeah, yeah. So, when ECI took us out to England last year, um, the, uh, I see the grill on the industrial machines, you know, for the waste, the yeah, or whatever, yeah. and the, the guards on the back over the lights, the kind of... You grill. said, I need that. I, I said, that to be fierce handy to me you now, like, yeah. do you know? So, and she came with them, so I couldn't really complain then, like, and uh, they've dimmed two mirrors. I know you wouldn't be able to see them now from the cameras, but 
They have two mirrors on the on the mud guards. Yeah. And they're shining back up exactly where you want them to the back wheels. Like uh, the mirrors up there are a bit um they're kinda of only just catching the weight, the top of the weight block like. Yeah, Whereas, you can't see your wheels at all, you really. Can't, them, can you, you can't yeah. see your wheels like so if you're on the road now like you have them two mirrors there. A super job I made a car down the other day on, on an hour road and look it was tight but I was able to see exactly where the back wheel was like. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so it was grand. <laughs> I was happy enough with that. Extra no? Yeah. So and she had the full LED light, pa light package, you know, even the headlights are LED now in this. So there's good light over her. She blind any man, woman or child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so what kind of a system do you work here? You kind of swap sides of the pit Yeah, there look, we kind of just, you know, we don't ever really kind of talk much to each other. We just kind of... He just stays out your way, basically. Yeah, I know. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't not a bully, like. <laughs> <laughs> I might be big, but I, I'm not a bully. <laughs> you know, look, we kind of just walk away. We just, look, he'll, he'll go up there now where I was, but look, like, I'd be six ton heavier than what he'd be like. So, look, he'd roll away and look and they'll shove away the tobin shoves as much look she shoves as much as what this one will push yeah yeah you know like you're the they're, they're both be around the same power to weight like wouldn't they they're about 14 horsepower per ton i think yeah something each. that way yeah but, you know where's your red s is 17 or whatever like yeah but, but is like, there any like is there any drawbacks to this machine like is she sluggish on hydraulics or no that's is the she one awkward on the road or like is there any drawback to the bigger machine like not that I see anyway, like, yeah. to be honest, like, the hydraulic power is... is I see the is, flick is fairly good there, anyway, the like... Like, every movement inside here is as fast as what is outside there, like... Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, you just couldn't... You can't complain about, about power-wise, you know? We had a few technical issues right at the start, but we haven't... think we haven't kind of ironed out. <laughs> yeah, she did a few teething problems, She had like. a few teething problems, right, yeah. Um, what were they? A fuel or something, was uh, it? Yeah, we had a faulty fuel gauge. So, um, we just kind of were running out of diesel when we weren't actually out of diesel. Um, she had two tanks, so she had one in the front, she had an auxiliary tank at the back. And when the front one comes down to 20%, she's supposed to cut in the pump to transfer the back tank. Oh, um, okay, yeah. Which she wasn't doing, so. This one has the common rail engine, so there actually actually has no electric pump. So what she was doing was emptying the filters. So we were uh, running out of diesel in up the so top of the gate. So she just stopped she just it stopped, like an She gave no warning. The gauge would be reading right, and next thing, bang. Uh, when the gauge was reading, reading wrong. <laughs> yeah. When you think she's full, she was uh, the gauge wasn't budging, but yeah, um, she sorted no She sorted yeah. no one uh, She saw hopefully. And what's she like on diesel compared to the 435? Like, she must be heavier, obviously, like. She look, you'd think that, but to be fair, like, I filled her uh, yesterday morning. She was filled yesterday morning. So we're still up to quarter, just over a quarter of a tank in her, like. And what she takes filler? Uh, about 400 litres. I oh, think yeah. that's what the tank holds, like. So, um, so, like, I hope, you know, she's after bring you on the pump. Yeah. Transferring the diesel like so. So. And would you be a diehard JCB man now, like, or what way would you be? Uh, no, I have drove Volvos and stuff. Yeah. Um, not a whole lot of them now, but I have drove Volvos. I find them sluggish, like. Yeah. I just, like, I find them just a bit slow on the hydraulics for, like, they push all around them. Uh, but I just find them a bit slow on the hydraulics for flicking or for doing. You know, like, you're just restricted, I think, a small bit on it. Like, the, four, the 435 is a fine order, and it's a super order, and I thought she was very big when I got up there first. Yeah. When I get up in the no. Well, well sure, like, in I fairness, the when, when, when they the came around first, like, they were the daddy, like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They were the rig, like. Um, I just think that uh, when I sit up in the no, that... I, I, th I think the pike is going to come in the wind straight to me, like, <laughs> look, I know this one has, like, big, she has a long jib, like, I think there's about nearly two feet of a difference from front wheel to the back of the pike, yeah. between the two loaders, like. Um, is she the longer or the shorter boom? Because I know she, you can get two different... She has the long boom, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, And that's yeah. kind of what I wanted. Yeah. Because if you're on a pit, now that you can actually reach 
you would actually travel better when the when you the weight far grows. Yeah. You have way more traction, like you know. So, um, and that's a brand new OC for front. That's a brand new pipe down on front this year now. Yeah. A 15 foot. 15 foot with wide spacings. And then you're a 14 foot. She is on the 45. Yeah. You know. So. Look, oh, you, you, you can, didn't go for the 16 foot on this. Um. We actually had a 16 foot there a couple of years ago and I found it desperate awkward. Um, if you had a narrow pit or if you had a bit of a turn in the pit, you're digging in on one side ferociously like. Yeah. And when running running two loaders, you're gonna have to put clothes in most of the thing then. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, yeah. I just think to look, I was more comfortable with the 14 and then this one came with the, the 15 with the white spacing, so um no, I just I, I like to set up for notice to his grand. It's all what you're used to this bus. Yeah, yeah. All what, it's all what the accountant can afford. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're a money around here, yeah. <laughs> he might slightly like, tell you differently. <laughs> There's only a hindrance, but looks of it. <laughs> it's a drug as what is. <laughs> a drug. Yeah. No, look, the one thing I will say that is uh, about this is like JCB never lost the speed. Yeah. Um, like the 435. We always had to push in second gear because with first gear you'd always just spin out when the minute you hit the load she'd start spinning. Yeah. She was just too much torque to the wheels like. But whereas this now, it's a way more steadier like. Yeah. First gear all day long. The like, gear race was right the, like. Yeah. Do you know, and I suppose she has the weight, she's heavier, she's clung to the ground like. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, but look, you're probably talking six ton more like. Yeah. Which is a, it's probably a huge difference like. Come here, I never look, but what tyres are under this? Are they 800s? 800s. 800s. We made the demo last year to the 710s under it. Yeah, the 710s are kind of the uh, standard, but the 800s are optional, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, because yeah. Mark asked me, I know, to be fair, about tyres, and as I said, no, I would have to go for the 800s, like. Yeah. Um, just, you're slightly wider, you're not an awful lot wider, but it does make an awful difference when you're up and down here, like. Yeah. Do you know? But what about on the road now, or country boreens there, you didn't get caught anywhere yet, or <sighs> knock any stone ditches, or... No, sure, if you did, you wouldn't tell me anyway, I suppose. <laughs> I know, honesty is always the best yeah. policy, don't you know that? <laughs> but, um, no, to be fair, look, she's actually, I think she's still within the legal limit. Yeah. I think 10.2, is it? Is she, I think 10.1 or 10.2. It is no one, is it? It is no one, do you know what? Look, I look it up before the video goes out, I'll cut that bit if I have to. Edit, edit, edit. Do you know? But uh, I do know, I think she is the legal limit, alright. Yeah. Um, but look, uh, I, look, to be fair, there's, there's nothing at all wrong with the loader. She's an absolute pure bulldozer, like when yeah. she get behind the load, like. Yeah. Like I have to Especially when you're not paying for it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like fancy paying for it, no, to be no, fair. No, no. What she's, speed is she on the road, actually? She's 40k, which is a small bit of an issue I'm having. Now, apparently you can make them 50k. Yeah, if you were this, good with loader, this loader was supposed to be 50k. Yeah. Uh, now, I have set it thumb, and they have changed the software, because, in fairness, that's what Mark bought, was a 50k loader. Yeah. Uh, but she's not doing it. She's doing 40. Uh, so I'm hoping that that will be sorted. Yeah. Because look, it's not that you'll be doing the 50k. Well, it's 48k or whatever it is. Is what they're actually clocked to like. It is when like we have the main bending cock road behind us now. When you come out onto that and you're doing 40k and you have a big line of traffic. Look, when you're on secondary roads around here, like as you've probably seen. Yeah. They're narrow. Oh, and you're you're not, you you're, won't need the 50k. You're not going to do 50k <laughs> and meet a car and be like, hold on, I'll open the pipe there for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, I'm hoping that they'll sort it out because we would be covering a bit of country, all right, when we when we start silage. Like, we could often spend an hour driving to a job, like, yeah, or yeah. maybe an hour and a half. But look, when he gets out to an area, then he'll try and wipe them out, but you know, any customers that are out there, like, you know, he kind of works it well enough that we wouldn't be. We wouldn't be kind of going back on ourselves an awful lot. Oh yeah, you'd go to an area we'd, like, like we'd and go to an do area a few there we'd, and... We'd do a few there then and we'd, we'd come away out of it. So look, he'd try and look I suppose, which is probably a good policy. Look, if the moor's in the area and everything is kind of running smooth, you know, knock them away and get them all out of it together. But then that just shows you that the season is very tight when all you all them fellas willing to go at the same time, like. Yeah, yeah, like I think by the time, by the time we're finished, like I think, um, 
eighteen days. I yeah. think roughly I think is what we'd be would have been out for first cut like. But no, I mean, they wouldn't they wouldn't be eighteen eight hour days now to be fair like but No look at <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're um I think seven to eleven is kind of what we want. To be yeah. fair. But look the weather was monthly this year like. Yeah. You know, like we were putting in sixteen hour days and look to be fair he was he was putting the acres through it and we were doing the acres so um look to the I think the first week we rattled nearly 1,200 acres in six days, six and a half days. Yeah. So we were kind of no risk to be going well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have another man on the loader over today? Uh, There's like musical chairs which are around here. Yes, we um, one of the lads to be actually fixing <coughs> trucks there, so he had to go in a, a breakdown there. So that's his actually that's his father actually. He's oh, the right. he started off with Mark I think or him and Mark's father. Shove up silage, that's Barry to week. Um he was he's the man to talk to now, he was shove up silage with the Cat 19. How many years ago was that? Or how many decades ago? Uh, <laughs> I think I was only asking the other day, I think the cat is uh is it 80, 81 I think. The cat is so And he's still the man to call when you're stuck. Oh he's the man. When <laughs> when the pressure comes on. He gets you out of it. He gets us out of it, yeah. <laughs> Where does your heart lie? <laughs> tractor or tractors, Laura? Tractors, 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 tractors. So, like, that's the one thing about the second loader as well. Um, like, the 435 will probably head on to the next job now and start it. Well, I'd be maybe finishing off the pit here or, or vice versa. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, you'd stay back and roll it, like. I'd stay back and roll it. In. Yeah, I'd stay back and roll it. And Mark do not stop him like so. You know, he's not waiting on an order to get to the second yard. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. Right, David, thanks for thanks for chatting and letting us know about 457 anyway. Yeah, no bother, no bother. Anytime.